His reviews will get you further than the film will ever go. If you give him just a moment of your time, he'll let you know. Which movies rock, which movies stink, which movies shouldn't have been released. Say hello to Confused Matthew. This is a joke, right? I mean, am I being punked? What is this? Lost in Translation is not a film. Nothing happens and there are no characters in it. That should be all the review the film needs, but I guess I'm obligated to say more about it. So here's all that happens in the film. Some guy comes to Japan to do commercials and some girl is here there too. So he does a commercial and has trouble understanding what they're saying. Then he does another commercial and he has trouble understanding what they're saying. Then the girl stares out a window. Then the guy stands in an elevator. Then he stands in another elevator. Then she stares out another window. Then he misuses an exercise machine. Then he goes swimming. Then she looks at a bunch of kids playing video games. Then she goes swimming. Occasionally, these inane actions that are not a film are interrupted by the two having inane conversations that don't go anywhere and have no character development or insight. Then they sing karaoke together. Then they sing karaoke together. Then they sing karaoke together some more. The scene where they sat in the hall together. Oh, let's watch that again! Then he has an inane phone conversation. Then he plays some golf. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to review any more of this nonsense. Fuck you, you pretentious dickhead of a film. How dare you waste my time? I wish I could track down the person who wrote this screenplay and force them to stare at a wall for three straight hours. See how they like me wasting their time as much as they wasted my time. I am so sick of these empty, pretentious, Bullshit films being passed off as real art. It's not. Don't bother watching this. Just throw it in the trash where it belongs. And another thing I'm sick of is all of these professional film critics jerking off to films like this. Oh, it's so great because it's so unconventional. Yeah, it's unconventional because you would have to be a shithead to make a movie like this. There is a reason this movie isn't like most other movies, because most other movies are movies. And I am royally pissed off at all the praise Scarlett Johansson's character got. Stop calling her a character. She didn't do anything. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to give this movie any more attention than this. It doesn't deserve it. This and the other precious few pretentious films like this just belong in the trash. They suck. They all suck.